Hello and welcome to another video. I hope that you're all very well. Today I'm going to be talking about turning left at the traffic lights. You may be wondering, it's so simple, what can possibly go wrong? Well, a lot can go wrong if you're not paying attention. So much so that you can easily fail a driving test. Not only a driving test, you can actually get penalty points on your driving license, you can end up with a large fine, and at the worst case scenario, you could end up in a serious collision. Before we continue, it's important that we know the basics. What is a stop signal? Firstly, the red light is a stop signal and the red traffic light means that you must stop must by law stop at or before the white stop line not over it you must stop at or before the white stop line amber is also a stop signal amber does not mean get ready to stop Amber by law means you must stop unless the car just started on by itself for some reason. <clears throat> Amber means by law you must stop unless you as a driver feel that it's unsafe. For example, there's someone very close behind you. Let's say is 10 meters away from you and you're driving at 30 miles an hour and the traffic lights change as the overall stopping distance is 23 meters if you do slam the brakes on you have a very good chance of getting a accident uh, somebody from hitting you from the back okay so we understand now what the red and the amber means so what does a green traffic light mean Many of you may just say, go. However, the green light means go if, if it's safe to do so, which means that we should still be alert of what's happening around us. You may get an emergency vehicle coming through. And yes, if, if an emergency vehicle was coming, we would hear it. However, Sometimes, especially ambulance drivers, they do not use the siren, only the flashing blue lights, especially if they've got a heart patient. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to go for a very short drive and I'm going to turn left at a handful of traffic lights and see if, um, if we can anticipate what may go wrong. Yeah. I can see the lights in the distance and we all know that I'm going to turn left at the lights. That seems to be nothing special. The lights are green. In fact, on approach I can see a no left turn sign and there's a dedicated lane for turning left. So I've positioned myself in this dedicated lane and while the lights are red I'm stopped at the white stop line. However, something I've just noticed is in front, just a few meters in front, I have give way lines. Which means when the lights turn green I can't just shoot off, I still need to be aware of traffic especially on the right now some of you may be wondering well if you're gonna have traffic lights why have giveaway lines as well so the lights are green and there's no one coming and I've proceeded the reason that the giveaway lines are there 
is because there is a possibility, a very small possibility, that somebody may come. To eliminate that possibility, the possibility could be eliminated by making the traffic lights last twice as long. So rather than keep, keep people waiting for such a long time, they just put the giveaway lines and expect you to have a quick glance to the right to make sure that it is safe to proceed. Now we've got a set of traffic lights here and uh, I'm obviously turning left. Now if we look carefully at the light there's actually four circles and what a lot of people do they sit down like this and they're just staring at the red light in the corner but they forget about the extra box the extra box is a filter light and the filter light can come on if the light comes on the arrow the filter arrow towards the left like it has done now that means I can go so this person behind me is warning me to say come on hurry up your light is green did you not see that and that is what happens in a driving test now just as a matter of interest if you are horned like that in a driving test that would not result in a fail because it was only a second for the till the lights changed whereas if i was just waiting there staring at the red light for ages and ages and ages and the person horned at me then that would result in a fail Okay, I can see the traffic lights in the distance. And as planned, I'm going to be turning left. The light is red, which we've agreed is a stop signal. And I've stopped well before the line due to the two vehicles in front of me. Now the sequence of the lights after red will be red and amber together. The red and amber together is still a stop signal so I, I can't go. I need to wait until the light changes green before proceeding. The lights are green, I'm proceeding and I've got another set of traffic lights here. You may have noticed that there was a white stop line on the floor. So if those lights were red, then I would have to stop at those lights. Sometimes when you turn, you see a set of traffic lights and there is no stop line. In that case, if there is no stop line, then those lights do not apply to you. It's as simple as that. So whenever you're turning left at the traffic lights, always expect to see another light. And then look to the floor to see if there is a stop line there. Those lights back there was for the pedestrian crossing. If there was no pedestrian crossing there, we should still expect pedestrians to be there and we need to be prepared to slow down or even stop for the pedestrians. So <clears throat> I'm approaching another set of traffic lights and I'm going to be turning left. <clears throat> I'm, um, I'm driving a lot slower than I normally would just so I've got a bit of talking time. I've noticed that there's a, <clears throat> a bus lane on the left here, so I can indicate, but I don't want to move into the bus lane until the solid line is finished. Once I've moved into the bus lane, <clears throat> I've realized that there's another road here. So I need to cancel the signal and then re 
apply it. So there was two hazards there. One, the bus lane. And if you have any misunderstandings about bus lanes, we've got a very good video on bus lanes and the link for that is coming up now. Okay, the lights are green, so I'm gonna proceed. Let's see if you guys can notice the next hazard by yourselves. Do you notice it? I'm gonna replay this video once more, this time to show you a different hazard that you may have missed. The speed limit on this road is 40 miles per hour but anytime you turn you're entering a new road so therefore you should expect to watch out for signs because the speed limit may have changed on this particular occasion the speed has been reduced to 20 miles per hour but the sign is placed very very close to the junction that it's so easy to miss on this particular occasion, we are lucky because we've got signage on the floor to confirm that it is 20 miles per hour. Well, there you have it, turning left at the traffic lights. It can be very confusing if you're not watching out for the hazards. However, if you are watching out for the hazards, it's a piece of cake. I hope you found this video entertaining and informative if you have please give the thumbs up if you're a subscriber thank you if you're not a subscriber then now is the time to do so thank you for watching bye bye